other. I could have met you at your hotel room. What? And give up the pure pleasure of sneaking into my own company? And it is rightfully my company, in spite of that stupid contract that your father has signed. It's just... Daddy would have agreed to bungee jump over a river full of crocodiles if it meant getting forced to creations back. But it's legally unenforceable. That's what's so silly. I mean, that Nick would even come up with this idea of your father divorcing me. I... What? Donna? Is that what you're thinking? Whoa, where'd that come from? <laughs> I don't know. It's early in the morning, and I, I allot myself 15 minutes of pure paranoia every day. Yeah, well, today you only get five, since I'm here to set you straight. <laughs> Answer this question for me. How is it possible that not one, but two of what I consider fairly intelligent men in my family, they lose all power of reason when it comes to this, this bimbo? Cheese fries. What? They're a guilty pleasure. So, you know they're terrible for you, but sometimes you just got to have them. Oh. Yeah. I see. I can't blame this all on Donna, though. I really can't. I shoot myself in the foot all the time. Why, at my age, can I not learn from my own mistakes? Daddy's made his share of mistakes, too. Sweetheart, an affair is a red flag. I don't listen to your father. I don't listen to him the way he wants me to, the way he deserves for me to listen to him. I, and he's upset. He's angry because he thinks I interfere in all of your lives. And so now it's just all come home to bite me in the you-know-what. What happened to Brooke? You know how he feels about her. So stupid on my part. So ill thought. It wasn't even thought out. It was just so stupid. You had no way of knowing that he was a violent person. No, but... The truth is, I should have checked him out, shouldn't I? Instead, I just pushed him on her. I've apologized and apologized, and it's not enough. It's never going to be enough. I know that. Now your father's cast his eye on Donna. 